It's like, what is this? What, what are we doing here? Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is my third attempt at filming this uh, specific video. Uh, I am such a noob and everything is a work in progress. I am trying to not feel defeated as I go at this for the third time. So. Hello, my name is Helena and I am a 30 year old, I, in my head I thought I am a 30 year old lady, classic Jenna Warmbles, no, uh, I'm 30 years old and I live in uh, northern Sweden and uh, this is my attempt at starting up my YouTube content. Uh, so for this video, as you can see in the title, I am planning to tell you about my project PAN. Uh, if you saw my very first Get Ready With Me, where I talk a bit about myself, I, uh, I told you that um, this channel will have a lot of Project Pan content, because I love watching Project Pans. Uh, if you don't know what, what a Project Pan is, it's basically where um, you, you try to use up your makeup and so in some capacity. We have a lot of different Project Pans on YouTube and Instagram and so on. Some are themed. Some are more playful, like the deck of uh, panning and um, roulette project pan. Some are just, you know, just people uh, saying that these are the products that I want to use. So I thought, since this is my first attempt at doing this, I want to have a rolling project pan. Kind of like if you watch Kelly Gooch or Judy and so on. Those are um, rolling project pans where you set goals for your products and then if you uh, meet that goal you will uh, take that product out and then replacing it with something new. But basically a project pan is to use up or hit pan or just you know use the makeup that you already own. And I think that this type of content is very important in today's climate because the beauty industry is not what it used to be. Uh, we have Colourpop, for example, being like the beauty industry's version of fast fashion where they just pump out new collections every week. And I think that many of us are, myself absolutely included, spending too much, um, buying too much new makeup. So I think it's very important to actually also use what you have um, so you get your money's worth but also not being wasteful and, and wasting products. Um, and I have been product panning on my own. I've been doing this unofficially um, for quite some time. I used to, when I had a smaller collection, I was always mindful and I didn't want to open too many, like for example, if I had three foundations, I, I would focus on one foundation, finishing that up and then moving on to the next one. Now I have accumulated quite many foundations. I had been, um, there have been too many interesting foundation releases and uh, so uh, so I have quite a lot. But you know, that's it used to be the way that I did my makeup. I, I was focusing on one product, finishing that up and moving on to the next one. But now I have a bit more. So I want to try and be, you know, official in these are the products that I will focus on. And it's easy for me to do so because I uh, when I when I work I'm not really the most creative. I, I tend to, I want to have it easy and reach for the same product. So using uh, products up as part of my everyday work makeup, it's, it's easy for me. It's part of my routine. So I thought, why not make it official? Anyways, uh, let's move into the products because my intro has been quite long now. So the first one is uh, I will go in the order maybe that one would apply this on the face. So this first product is what you in the Project Pan community would call a gimme product because it's barely there's barely anything left in this product. So it's something that I will finish up very soon. I thought I would finish this in 2021. I did not, so it's it's still here. This is the uh, all day. Uh, primer matte beige from the brand Siero. I got this from Yestyle and 
it's fine, it's a good primer, it blurs, kind of mattifies because I, my skin will get pretty oily in the T-zone throughout the day, so this works for, it kind of works. It's not maybe the, the most, uh, the best one. So when I finish this one, I, I won't pick it up again. But as you can see, like, this is how much I have left. But it's still, I can still get product out. This one, I, I expect it to be finished every day now. And I'm home at the moment, I'm not working. So I don't know how, how often I will do my makeup. I have been bored. Since I, I had a surgery, so now I'm home recovering from that surgery. And um, I'm not allowed to do anything, I'm not allowed to lift, uh, so I can't do what I would usually do when I'm bored, which is like cleaning, um, go on long walks with my dog and so on. So I'm just at home, sitting here bored, not allowed to do anything. So maybe I will actually put on makeup just to, you know, get the time to pass by. But I expect this to be finished very soon. It's what I have as a primer today. The next product is my uh, foundation and this is also what I have on my skin today and if you saw because I have the same makeup as I did in my Get Ready With Me season. What is this? What What are we doing here? My hair is... This is not... I usually have like <laughs> very intricate super exciting hair but I have uh, not cut it in a while and I have not colored it in a while since I knew I was going to have my surgery and just stay at home so I wanted to save <sighs> save my exciting hair for when I actually meet people. Anyways, um, my foundation or my BB cream. So this one is a Tony Moly uh, Luminous Goddess Aura BB cream. This one is so beautiful on the skin. I got this when I was uh, in South Korea. I, you can probably find it in uh, online shops that sell uh, Korean makeup. But um, this is one of my oldest foundations and it's uh, it got sunscreen. So and I know that sunscreen tends to go bad before, you know, quicker than the rest of the product. This still smells good. It was a couple of years ago, I'm not going to tell you how long this has been in my collection. But it smells good, it works, I am not breaking out or anything. My skin is very durable and um, it's not really super um, sensitive in any ways. But I, I need to finish this up since it is old. I have not had it open for as long as I have had it in my collection because as I said, I, I my makeup style used to be that I focus on one foundation to finish that up and then move on to the next. So I have had foundations that are, have been closed, uh, but then I realized that I have, that I bought too many foundations. <laughs> and I, if I was going to focus on one, I, you know, I would not be able to use the newest one for many years uh, still. So I have um, been dabbling more and using all of my foundations a bit more. But anyways, this one, I want to finish uh, the same as my primer and yes since I am such a noob I forgot to tell you I did weigh all of this because that is something that you do when you product pan some some people tend to do that so uh, I, I weighed it I weighed this one this one weighs 10 grams so not much it's basically like nothing uh, and this one that I also want to finish this one weighs at the moment 49 grams so I don't know it's it's difficult maybe I can shine a light through but it's very opaque the packaging so I don't know how much is still in here then we shall move on to my Franken concealer and if you are interested in panning you know what you do when you Franken something so this one is in the tube for the L'Oreal infallible it looks nasty on the top because it's very old um, if you franken something, you mix many products together and that is what I did for this one because I bought this some time ago when Nikki Tutorials did her first review and she loved this and I was like oh my god that looks like because we that looks like the shape tape we, we couldn't get shape tape in Sweden uh, for the longest time so I got this one and it's sat in my collection because I still used another concealer and then when I finally tried it on, it looked horrendous. It looked very dry and I, 
I, you know, I dabbled with it. I tried it with different powders, with different primers, with different foundations, but you know, it, it didn't look good. So I kind of put it away and said, well, I'm not going to use something that looks crap. Uh, that's just not my... I, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I opened a Focalor concealer. I do not have the tube of that one yet, but Focalor is a, it's a... I don't know where the brand is from. It's also something I think I found on Instagram. But I opened a concealer and it was in a squeezy tube, like... but in concealer shape. And... Um, I really liked that. It was really very creamy, but I realized that I hate concealers in squeezy tubes. It was a, difficult for me to know how much I would apply, uh, so I, I would either take too little or too much, and it, it was just not my preferred way of application. So, since I had used a bit of this, trying to make it work, uh, and I had used a bit of that Focalor concealer, I figured out that maybe I should just squeeze the Focalor concealer into this one, which I did. Um, and this one has a big doe foot. I love this application. Uh, so now this L'Oreal one is mixed with the Focalor one, which is really, really creamy. And now this works really good, really well. So I want to finish this up. I don't think that I have that much left. When I look down into it, I can see the end. I can see through the tube. Um, so hopefully it won't take too long. To use this up. I am mixing this one with the Juvia's Place because the Juvia's Place is a bit dry so I kind of try to make Juvia's Place work by using this one. So <laughs> I, I'm high maintenance. I'm using like three concealers for... Um, but it's not high maintenance. It's just that I don't want to waste products. So that that is what works for me at the moment. Yeah, but it is the concealer that I use today. And it looks, I think it looks good. And this one weighs 26 grams. Uh, right, moving on to my powder. This is the powder that I'm using. It's the W7 Set It Up Special Effects. I don't know what kind of special effects is going on here. Uh, this is my oldest powder. I got it, I think, in, when I went to Munich. Couple of years years ago, um, but I'm I'm using powder regularly and I get oily, so I powder my entire face. So I just want to use this up, especially now when I'm not out and about that much. I can use this because it's not super. It's not superb. It looks sometimes it looks crap underneath my eyes, and I have to rescue it with my Dior powder. But you know, I don't want to waste product. Um, this is what I'm working with. I want to finish it up. It has 46 grams at this moment, so I, I figure I will use it up quite soon. As you can see, it's not that much left. Uh, the next product I will uh, have in my product pan is this Morphe Eye Primer. Uh, I got this in an advent calendar, I think, two years ago. And uh, I always use eye primer when I put on eyeshadow. I, I know many influencers or YouTubers or people in general, maybe not just on, on YouTube, uh, use concealer. I do not. I prefer an eye primer. But I have three in my collection at this moment and I don't need three, I just need one. And they take a long time to finish because you need the smallest amount. So this is the one I have. I used to use my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer, but it's kind of finicky to use for work because it's so white so you need to kind of work it in and blend it and everything. This one is not white. It's uh, it goes on it looks like that but it's it has no color when you kind of put it on your eyelids. Um, the Anastasia also I, I found that it creased and I don't know what what's up with that. So I want to finish this one and then try the Anastasia again and see if I just had a bad month. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was just you know, bad at applying my makeup. But I have used half of this, basically. Now I got some air in it, but yeah. But this will still take a long time because you don't need much. So I want to finish this. This one weighs 12 grams. 
And then we have, starting with some more exciting items maybe, um, I have a contour shade. This is also something I have frankened. So it's in my The Balm, Take Home The Bronze compact. There is some parts of The Balm in this, but I also uh, I um, broke it up and added a NYX uh, eyeshadow in a taupey shade that I used to use for my contour. And I mixed them together and I repressed them into this. Uh, because I still contour. I'm still that bitch. I th still <laughs> think that I need it. My face is very round and very flat. So I need all the help that I can get to look like I have some kind of definition. And that I have some cheekbones, you know. I want to finish this Franken shade up. I repressed it super hard. So it's not... Like when I put on in my brush, there's barely any kick up or anything. So um, I don't know how long this will take. It weighs 34 grams. But you see, I have a decent pan. But as I said, I I'm not really picking up that much. But this is the shade. So it's actually it actually works pretty well to contour with. Can we see? That is the shade. So I want to finish that one up completely. Then I also have a bronzer. And this is my Art Deco. Uh, I think Olean in Sweden carry uh, Art Deco. And it looks like... I'm trying not to blind you. It has a beautiful embossing. It's a very pale bronzer. It's in the shade, I think, 2. Bronzing powder. And this is perfect for me during winters. I, I, I could contour with this also if I'm lazy, but I, I mean it works very well since I'm so pale. Uh, it's matte, so sometimes I like to mix it to get a more glow. But I want to hit pan on this. And I love this kind of compact because you can take it out. So when I finish this, if, if I would want to, I could just get a new um, pan and keep the compact. So you just click it in, it's super easy. Uh, this one I do not want to finish because I had not used it that much before uh, adding it or deciding that I wanted to have this in, in a project. So I just want to hit pan, I don't want to see how long it takes for me to hit pan. Could take forever, maybe I, I'm not able to finish this before spring and summer arrives. You know, maybe I'm not able to hit pan before then, but then I will bring it back during fall. So during this year, I want to hit pan in this shade. Uh, and this one weighs, I weighed it like this and not with a compact. And then it weighs 20 grams. This is a contouring shade and that is the bronzing shade. So they are quite similar in tone. This one is also something that I'm wearing on my face. I am wearing the highlighter from a Swedish indie brand called Lost Gods. And this is like, look at that glow. So it's looking like this. And this highlighter is in the shade Pina Colada. Lost Gods is an indie brand from uh, Umeå, which is pretty close to where I live, just three hours if you take it by car. And this highlighter is really good, so it's not... Panning this will not be an issue. And I want to finish this up. Look at this glow. Can we focus? Yeah, there you can see. So it's just, you know, glowy, metallic, shiny goodness. I love this highlighter. Uh, and I do already have a pan. The reason I want to finish this is because I don't like the packaging. It's like the same with the um, uh, Colourpop Super, Super Shock shadows. It's just, why? Why do we need this thick of a packaging for that shade? Uh, so I want to finish this up. I have never finished an highlighter, a highlighter before. Um, so I don't know how long it will take. Uh, but I want to finish this. It weighs currently 22 grams. So let's see how long it will take me. I am still into 
a super blinding highlight. I know that many people moved on from that, but it's still my jam. I still love to like blind all the haters with my highlight. So I can apply. I can be heavy handed with my highlight, so to speak. Uh, all right. Um, next product will be a couple of years ago many people were raving about the Stila glitters and glows. My battery is blinking. I have this from Yesta. This is a Holika Holika eye metal glitter. Uh, and they are starting to dry out, all of my glitters. So I want to finish this one before it dries out. Look at that, it's so stunning. Um, so yeah, this is one I want to finish up as much as I can. It's in the shade Stellar Dust and you can get this. I think you can get it at Yes Style. I will see if I can link it, but it still works fine and it's so stunning. Look at that sparkle. So this one weighs 17 grams at this moment. All right, I need to hurry. My final product will be maybe something that I carry over to another project, but as of now, I'm adding this into this product. So this is a high shadow palette, <laughs> eyeshadow palette that I want to get as much use out of as I can before, or as I feel necessary before moving it out of my collection. So this is from Seattle, London. I got this in an advent calendar two years ago, three years ago. And it's very basic, but I think that this works fine uh, for every day when I just don't want to think um, when, I, when I go to work. I can just add some shades in my crease and like one of these sparkly shades on my lids and call it a day. Alright, obviously my battery died and... Um, I am back now. It's uh, not the same day. I'm not wearing the same makeup, but I... So yeah, I want to um, make some dent in this little basic eyeshadow palette. Um, this one uh, is part of my product pan. I, might, I will probably move it to a different project when I get more into filming my content. But that is it for me. Let me know, do you product pan? How do you use your makeup? Do you have a huge collection and dabble into everything? Or do you just focus on specific products? How well are you at finishing your makeup? Please let me know, I would love to hear it from you. And other than that, I will uh, end this video here. Bye guys!